These are nice sweatpants. Um, they are doing fine except for a knee which has started to come undone and so it needs fixing because once a knitwear of this scale starts to unravel and it's uh, predominantly cotton, it's quite silky so it'll just start to um, undo as you apply pressure on the knee. So this long ladder here, I've tacked it at the bottom so it'll no longer unravel and we're going to stitch around the place. I've taken a piece of an old sweat, quite light sweat, and cut a patch. I've put it behind and this time I've put a piece of cardboard, well light card paper, in between the legs because then when I pinned I knew I wasn't going to catch the other side of the material. So let's start mending. I'm going to start off feeling where, yeah I put the patch about there, so I'm going to start off. It also runs really smoothly this thread through a knitwear of this scale. Um, so I shall start my thread there. Now I'm going to just do a running stitch again quite close to the edge of this knee gash, shall we call it. Um, I'm going to go up and down the way and then spread out from the center. That means that I keep all this area flat. So if you remember, we've done um, running stitch before, you just put the needle in and out and you use this, your helping hand we'll call it, to guide the length of the stitches. So there we are, we can start to see it. Now I'm going to do a lot more work and then walk you through that afterwards. I'm deliberately doing this on the flat because it's really important to know the difference between, say, doing the stitch on denim, which is a flat material, it'll never stretch, and doing this on jersey. Jersey has three-way stretch, that's what it's all about. So you have to make sure the stitches have got enough flexibility in them. If I lifted it up and tried to do it in my hands, if you're not a skilled sewer, then you'll make it too tight or too loose. And this way, it's a little bit slower to begin with, but it keeps it flat. And um, the stitches are fairly large on purpose because what I'm doing is putting the two fabrics together fairly loosely and then we can get really firm on doing some more embroidery and things. So I'm going to do one more round around the outside and uh, you can see it's lying now so flat but there's also a little bit of give in the threads. I'm then going to do a little bit more embroidery to keep all this together. Uh, so I'll show you next stage. Having gone around the outside and I decided that just twice was enough, I secured the thread there so that there'd be no more pull and then come up in the centre just near the edge and I'm going to do a blanket stitch. Now the blanket stitch will prevent any more fraying, uh, unravelling of the knitwear. So blanket stitch, you make a stitch evenly from the edge and put the loop of thread behind it, there. Now you can change direction, so I'll be doing that in a minute on the corner, I'll show you how. There. Blanket stitch is a wonderful stitch for edging stuff. I love it, I use it on loads of things. Very small or very big, it really can be used all the time. So there, and I'm gonna change direction now and go up into the corner there. It's nice if you keep the stitches about the same length and this is really the perfect stitch for this because it's going to secure, oh I've forgotten to go through the loop, that's bad teaching but there we are, salvageable. There. So I'm going to go all the way around the outside now like this and secure the raw edge of the hole, oops I'll rethread that in a minute, the hole of the knitwear um, to the bonding cloth behind it and then we'll look at what decoration we do down the centre. I've got halfway round, uh, well I've gone along um, three sides now and I realised that while I wanted to keep this because I thought it looked arty it's actually going to be really difficult and it's going to get caught and everything so I'm going to have to snip it away and that's often what happens when you're mending things. You, you have an idea about how something is going to look and it goes slightly off that look. 
or it doesn't work in some way. So then you have to rethink. Um, so I've ended up with a very bright colour around the outside and I'm going to have to think about what I do that's pretty in the middle to cover up that black. So I'll just keep going around the outside and I may start doing some embroidery in the middle. There we are. So I've cleaned up the outside. I've tacked it down. It's all nice and secure now. But I've decided to carry on doing uh, this uh, blanket stitch and building a little pattern into the middle. We'll see how that goes. Um, so what you do is you take the last stitch, the outer stitch, and you put in another blanket stitch. Now you can uh, darn socks this way and things. It's quite pretty. Um, I'm just going to do it so that I go now through this single layer of black fabric. It'll create a sort of spider's web look, I think, and that's hopefully will be right. Now, if you don't like bright colours and you want things to blend a bit more, then doing all of this in black or grey would mean that it's very secure mend and it's just not as visible, um, which may suit your character a little bit more. But um, then from a demonstration point of view, you wouldn't be able to see a thing. So I'm choosing to use this bright green. So I've gone around uh, again with this stitch because I find I quite like it. And I'm gonna carry on going around until I feel that it's good enough and finished and show you the final result. I've carried on uh, stitching around. So just a reminder of the stitch, you go through the edge of your previous, the corner of your previous blanket stitch and pull up the way. Yeah. And the stitches get smaller when you go around corners and it will gradually become narrower and narrower. Uh, they will be regular. On Working on jersey is really hard to keep them even and um, you want it to be a little bit loose because the jersey will stretch around the knee, which we've talked about before. So I'll just carry on going for a little bit and then show you the final thing. So I'm back to my last stitch. Um, so I go up from the corner catch my thread behind and this time I'm going to secure the thread uh, again over the corner so that nothing falls apart. Secure it nicely and then take it to the back so I can pull it and trim it. There. Now I have a look at the design. It's okay if it were in black that would be completely sinking in. Uh, it certainly shouts out in this colour and looks like a lacy mend. I think I might prefer to put in some extra little lines around here uh, as a final thing. I'll have a little play. But all of those details are up to you because now we've looked at the technique, we've looked at working with uh, jersey, and this way of working flat is the most effective. It means you have to use your two hands together a bit more than you would if you were stitching an ordinary cloth. But um, there's some good learning in there. <laughs> 